What's good, y'all boys, and welcome back to the channel. This is the wrap up of season one of the Bench to Mike podcast and all the vlogs and everything. The, the new season will start this summer with all of the vlogs we have playing with that and the games we plan on going to. Today we're going to the Green Ice Game, and Chris did a bunch of research, knows all about it, so Chris, go ahead and explain. What's up, everyone? Uh, depending on when you're watching it, it's currently March 16th, the day before St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Um, stay safe, stay smart, uh, obviously. Um, we are on our way to Kalamazoo, Michigan to watch the Kalamazoo Wings take on the Allen Americans. Um, it's ECHL games, so uh, for those that are new to professional hockey, NHL's the top, then the AHL, then the ECHL. So yes, it's the lowest tier of professional hockey, but um, it's still professional nonetheless. It's a feeder team for the Vancouver Canucks. I don't know who the Allen Americans affiliate are, but uh, today is a special day though for the Kalamazoo Wings. It is their world famous green ice game. They have played this game since 1982. They're the first hockey team in the world. So I'll take all the hockey teams, I'm sure there's millions of them in the world. They're the first one to ever play on painted ice. So this is a tradition. This is the 40th anniversary of it too. So they might be throwing some awesome thing too because it's 40 years since they've done it. Um, so we're gonna, when we get to Kalamazoo, we're obviously gonna take some, we're gonna take some pretty cool shots of the ice. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be beautiful. Um, Kalamazoo Wings too, another historic team. They've been playing hockey in the Wings Event Center, and the Wings Event Center was also built in the same year that the team was established in 1974. So we're looking forward to looking. We're looking forward to going to a pretty historic game. So what say you? You excited? Dude, I am pumped. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to wrap up season one of the Best of My Podcast. Oh, yeah. That's the most important thing. Like, this is like a milestone for the channel. This is a milestone for us as a group, as the Bench to Mike Podcast. So I'm really excited. And this is kind of like my first pro hockey game. Yeah. So, like, this is your excited. first professional hockey game. It is sold out. And frankly, this is my first ever sold out hockey game. I've never been to a sold out hockey so game. So it should be packed. Big deal. Man. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited. It's going to be green ice, too. Green ice. Yeah, they're I'm playing on that. green ice. I can't wait for that. It's going to be super cool to see. And also, Kalamazoo, not that bad of a city. Not the greatest city, not that bad of a city. But, I mean, check out the Western Michigan vlog. little plug here to go talk, to go feel how we, as the Best of My Podcast, understand about Kalamazoo or feel about Kalamazoo. All right, guys, stay tuned. Uh, we'll catch you guys. What was that one Will Smith movie or uh, Will Ferrell movie? Welcome to the best Italian. So even though we're wrapping up season one of the Bench to Mike podcast, I just want to say thank you to all for all love this this series and uh, the love towards me and Chris and the Instagram page. Also check it out, bench underscore two underscore Mike on Instagram. But I just want to say subscribe because season two is coming starting this summer. We have UFL games. We're going to Canada. A lot of exciting stuff. So please stay tuned. Please hit the subscribe button. Go check us out on all socials. Links are in description. Um, but stay tuned for this great hockey vlog. Guys, got some Burger King. I'm hungry, so but yeah, we said what another hour and 30 minutes till we're there, so let's get it, baby. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. Not that guy, pal. You're not, You're not that, that guy. You're pal. not that guy, pal. All right, guys, we're here at Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, we're actually like the the thing, the stadium's like right there. So we're gonna head in a little bit, do our thing, do a little exploration. Chris, you have any thoughts about the drive, anything like that? Yeah, super easy drive. Um, looking back, I don't think going to Popeyes to the Western game was worth it because that Toledo traffic and that Ann Arbor traffic got a little hectic. Pretty terrible. Um, and all the construction took us off the highway. Uh, this one, it was perfect. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. Easy breezy. No traffic at all. It was great. Gotcha. Any pre-thoughts for the game? Um, uh, green ice. 
There's green gonna be ice. green ice. There's gonna be green ice, and we're excited here at BTM. We'll catch you guys in the stadium. The golden heart chase. So we were planning on getting Shamrock Shakes before the game. Because you know it's a green ice game, you know, St. Paddy's. And uh McDonald's didn't doesn't do they're not doing like inside right now, they're dining dining right now. So now we're we'll have to do a seven minute walk back to our car and no shamrock shakes. So very unfortunate. Chris, what are your thoughts? The golden arches deceived us. It was a mirage in the desert. I'm I'm very hurt because I need to walk back through a sketchy bike trail to get back to our our parking spot, but Maybe we'll get shamrocks after. I don't even know, but very, a very disappoint. It's a very disappointing walk going back to our car now. Oh, what are your first thoughts, Caleb? Exterior wise, what do you think of this place? It reminds me of like a 2013 McDonald's. I'm mean, like going like, to a play place. You know, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to go play. You know, and eat a cheeseburger. Sure, sure. We got Hungry Halloween's Pizza, never had it before. Uh, we'll take a couple bites and we'll let you know how we feel about it. Chris, are you excited for Hungry Halloween's Pizza? I'm very excited for the Hungry Halloween's Pizza. Let's get it, baby. What's going on, Bench to Mike family? We finally made it to Kalamazoo, Michigan, where it is officially hockey night. Not just any hockey night, it is the world famous green ice game. Yes, we made it to the Wings Event Center, where we're going to watch as the Allen Americans take on the Kalamazoo Wings. Welcome to the Wings Event Center. So we had Howie's Pizza, and we'll start off with Chris with review. Chris, what you have from Howie's Pizza? I got the Howie Roll, I think that's what it was called. Not impressed. And that's the same answer I have. I, I have. I had two slices of pepperoni pizza and a Howie roll. It was very stale, very burnt. And I'm gonna give Howie's for the price and for the food quality. I'm gonna say one out of ten. If it was cheaper, I'd give it a four. Chris, can I get it out of ten? Three out of ten. I'm I'm very disappointed, but I'm still very excited for the green ice cream. So stay stay tuned. Score predictions, Chris? Uh, you know, we're here in Kalamazoo. We didn't just come here for the green ice game. We didn't come here for nothing. It's the green ice game, Kalamazoo, K-Wings. Give me the K-Wings, 5-3. Give me the K-Wings, 4-2. I don't know what it is, guys. But that is the first. Center. And the first, Chris. What are your thoughts? Um, the Americans are up by one, one to nothing. Um, it's a pretty even game. K 
Kalamazoo's got 11 shots on goal. Allen's got 10. Um, anything could happen. Uh, just take it in. Uh, green ice. And Howie Rolls. Don't even mention the Howie Rolls. <laughs> Don't even mention it. The ice is green. We're loving it. Great atmosphere. They're doing a great job here. Keeping the people rowdy. Keeping them going. I uh, love it. Uh, the game itself, though. Whatever. Please, on your marks. Get set. Go. Get to the bottle, babies. Get to the bottle, babies. There they go. Wow, they grow. Oh, oh, oh. Babies. Babies. Oh, it's amazing. They grow up so fast. They grow up. End of period two, Kalamazoo's down, four to one. Chris, uh, this game, it's over. It's wraps, that's all I got. If Chris eats wraps tonight, I think it's wraps. Also got these cool little things. I don't even know what they are. Lays, 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 that's what I got, we got Lays. So, souvenir, we are set, night is made. Stay tuned for the third period. So, Kayla, how was your first ever professional hockey game? Even though the, this isn't NHL, this isn't AHL, it's ECHL, it's the lowest tier. But we're starting off slow with some little ECHL action with your professional hockey league uh, fandom, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, so what do you think of your first ever professional hockey arena? You know, it's very cool. But the thing I appreciate the most for Better College is the actual atmosphere and like, the people that are here at the stadium. Like, it's much better than a college environment. But, I mean, actually, yeah, the game itself, I don't really notice any difference. But it's maybe a little more physical. But I, I appreciate the crowd and the chanting more than at a college kind of uh, game. Go Bayway.
Guys, we are on the we're ice. On the we are ice. on the green ice, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are on the ice right now. I mean, they lost, but we are on the ice. Uh, this is crazy. What an experience this was. What an experience for the game. What a send off season. Heck yeah. It's time for the post game. All right, guys. Wrapping up the video here. Uh, a little post game show action. Uh, the Wings lost five to two. That was cool, right? Five, 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 five to two. Five two up there. Five two. Uh, kind of dead after the first period. Not gonna lie, a lot of fans started to leave. It was cool though coming to the world famous Green Ice game and seeing the Green Ice. It's and there's some of the jerseys right now. I'm actually here at the auction in the background. Really cool stuff. Uh, so Chris knows more about hockey than I do. It's kind of here existing in, in terms of being CF3. So CC50, go ahead and take over. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much on the stat sheet. Allen Americans, they just came in, took the Kalamazoo Wings lunch, and left. Pretty so those much. Howie rolls, so just stole our dinner. Yeah, took my those stomach's rolls. ruined. One stat that stood out to me was Kalamazoo had 41 shots on goal, and they only had two goals to show for it. And Allen, they had five. They had five goals on 24 shots on goal. That's crazy. That's unheard of in hockey. Well, that That's one awesome. that one goal was scored on its own by that goalie. Yeah, that goalie, yeah. the uh, the Kalamazoo goalie, he straight up scored on himself. Yeah, it was. But overall, it was a great experience. Uh, Kalamazoo, they are very much backed by the city of Kalamazoo. The Wings are very much backed by Kalamazoo. Um, it's a pretty good. It's a pretty good arena. Uh, I could see why in a few years they're building a new arena for the Wings. I could see why it's very congested. Very congested. very congested on the concourse, um, but it's a good environment. The ice, it, seeing the green ice in person, it was really awesome. Uh, can't complain. Shout out the coolest game puck in the, the world. Coolest game puck in the world. The Kalamazoo Wings Green Ice 2024 official game puck. Guys, nobody can buy this. The only people that have this are the coaches and the players and us. The Match Mike Podcast. So we are forever thankful for those that were able to provide this for us. Yeah, shout out to the Kalamazoo organization for being so portly and kind with us. And shout out uh, to the Wings Event Center staff. Yeah, exa exactly. And the security guards here, they were working with us pretty much to get our hands on it. So we're extremely grateful. And we love doing this. And we're glad these organizations are being very kind towards our, uh, what would you call it, our little community that we're building, our little, yeah, our little program, our little, our little production. So... Overall, um, that's going to be a wrap on the Bench to Mike, uh, I guess, Game Day Vlogs Season 1. Uh, we have lots of fun content. He really he kind of hinted at some of the summer stuff we're planning earlier in the, po uh, excuse me, earlier in the vlog today. Um, lots of exciting content this summer. He's going to have his spring ball content, so be on the lookout for that. He's in the works with Pac Money Benny. Pac Money Benny. Pac Money Benny. Pac Money Benny. Uh, shout out Pac Money Benny if he's watching this video. Um, but overall, thank you guys for the unconditional support and the unconditional love you showed this channel and the Bench to Mike podcast. So I guess Bench to Mike podcast is going to be signing off for season one. Sounds good. And season two coming real soon. We'll catch you boys next time. Peace.